my name is Maria. Hope you're having a great Saturday. Um, I am going to get Saturday morning makeup chit chat up uh, here later. I was wanting to do a video on my glitter nail polish collection. I thought that would be a different video. Um, and I don't think I've gone in detail what I have, so I thought you guys might like to see it. You're staring now at the shelf where I keep them at. Um, this is going to probably change as my husband is going to make me another mini nail polish rack. Um, I have them organized now the way I like them to be. And I want, I need another one of these shelves right here. So you guys can see my nail polish rack. This is actually a knit knack rack that his uh, grandfather, great, uh, great grandpa built a long time ago. And I'm using it for nail polish rack. Uh, but he did tell me if I wanted him to make me a nail polish rack, he would. Uh, and then I can get my precious moment pieces out. So I hadn't decided yet. But anyway, I'm going to show you the stuff I have down here on this table right here. Um, the first one I'm going to show you, this is called Glistening Purple. I've mentioned this several times. This is from LA Colors. It's my favorite the glitter nail polish, one of my favorite ones. It's a dollar, and it's from the Color Craze collection. I have it on my nails. And I love this nail polish. I, like I said, I've used it just as much as I've used my Spitfire one. I'll show you in just a minute. You can find this wherever LA Colors Color Craze ones are bought. I think I've got this at Family Dollar. The next one, I have this. This is a new one. This is from NYC Big City Dazzle. I think it's one of the new ones. I haven't tried this yet, and I wish I'd put this on to a point uh, on my nails, but... It's got blues and pinks and a little bit of reds. It's really, really pretty. Um, if you guys want to see swatches of these, leave me comments um, in the comments below, and I'll be happy to do those. I'm just kind of showing you what they look like. Now, these two, I got two of these because I'm sending one on to uh, Miss Veronica. I was looking for a good green glitter nail polish until I found the one that I got in my haul. This is from bon the Bonbons collection. And you can find these like down here where like the, the Bonnie Bell stuff is, and there's really no name to it. It's like a lime green glitter nail polish. So I'm anxious to try that. And you guys, I think I've seen this one. The other, uh, I'm going to probably go to Walgreens today and get the nail junkie one. So, but this one and this one, my husband saw that and said he liked that. I'll uh, call you later. Really, really like this. this is about the green glitter nail polish I was looking for. So, yeah. Right now they're two for three dollars. Uh, let me start over here. These are not really considered glitter nail polishes, but I thought this would be the best way for me to remember. They were like a shimmery one, and they're from Ulta. This one is called Chic Peak. It's like a brownish, coffeeish. Color. I love Ulta nail polishes. There are some hit and misses with them, but most of them are pretty good. This one's called Roll High Roller, which is <laughs> really cool. It's a, a shimmery uh, gold nail polish. It's really cool. This one I got recently is from the Petite. About dollar fifty. It's called Mystical. It is such a pretty um, glittery nail polish. You can actually wear this by itself. I think it's about buck fifty. Now here's the one that you guys know I'm nuts about. I've got two bottles of this. This is Pure Ice Spitfire. Veronica is the one that introduced me to this. Love it, love it, love it. It looks good on any nail polish that I've tried almost. <laughs> um, I've got two more from the Color Craze collection. This one, I don't know the name of it, but it's a really pretty iridescent glistening nail polish. And I think I wore this the other day. I can't remember. I'm really getting into the LA Colors Color Craze Glitter Nail Flashes. This one, I really don't know the name of this. I thought I did. But I bought this because uh, Veronica had done this with a palm white nail tutorial, and I'm hoping she'll recreate it. Um, and I called it the Makeup Miss V Nail Look <laughs> that I showed you guys. But this is a really pretty silver, blingy glitter nail polish. Just awesome. So. Um, this next one, I don't, I think it got a lot of bad reviews on it, but I really like it. It was a limited edition from Wentwall, uh, from Color Icon series called 24 Carats, but I actually like this. 
It's a gold uh, glittery nail polish. So if you happen to find it somewhere on the websites, you can uh, check it out. This next one's from NYC, and I love wearing this one with red nail polish. It's called Starry Silver Glitter Nail Polishes. This is one of my favorite ones, especially to wear during the summertime. I think this is like a dollar. It's got, you know, silver, blue, and like I said, it looks really good with the blue, the red nail polish. I'm actually going to wear it for Memorial Day weekend coming up. A couple more I got that I mentioned recently. This one, and I'm probably going to wear this on Cinco de Mayo Day because it's coming up on May 5th. This is called Peñata Yada from Ulta. It reminds me of the OPI one rainbow connection, kind of. Not really so much, but it was, you know, from OPI that came out with the Muppet Collection. Love that one. And this one's, I think, the Party of Five glitters. That one totally reminds me of that one from OPI, so, yep. Now, the next one is Fireside Glow, and you can actually wear this by itself or over something. I got this. This is part of the Christmas collection, and it's a really pretty, I don't know, borderline copper brown-ish glitter nail polish. It's kind of hard to see. I think that's take you over here to where I'm at. Hopefully you guys can kind of see the true color on that, but it's a really pretty, uh, you know, glow, fireside glow. That's pretty much what it looks like. So, from Tiny Glaze. This next one I mentioned several times. Uh, there's an episode where, from Sex and the City, where they're attending um, one of Miranda's friends' engagement party for a friend Jeremy or whatever. And Carrie Bradshaw, the character, was carrying a purse that had a similar color to this, and this totally reminded me of it. This is called Material Girl, and I have not worn this, but you, if you find this, you can totally wear it by itself. It is so pretty. Uh, the next one I have is uh, Some Like It Hot, H-A-U-T. I, I wore this a couple times. This would actually look really good on like solid black nail polish or any kind of dark black nail polish. Again, this is uh, these last three I showed you from the Christmas collection. And this kind of reminds me of the Hunger Games uh, one, Stone Cold, except this one in Dry Matte, I don't think. This one's from Essence. This is called Space Queen, which I really dug. It's like a peachy, glittering nail polish. That was a buck. Of course, I have my Hello Kitty one that's got just silver bling in it. I'm sorry that the, <coughs> the camera's not turned right. Now I've got, so these last two bottles are from Love and Beauty, uh, which is um, Forever 21. This is when I started getting into good or nail polish. This is like an iridescent one. Similar to this one from LA Colors. And I love this. I haven't used it in quite a while now, but I really, really think this is a, it just reminds me of where I started from, and now I just, I love good or nail polish. Um, really couldn't tell you the name of it, really. So, and then there was the baby one. This is the other one. This is one of my original ones. So, I want to check out Forever 21. I got some really cool nail polishes there. So, that's my uh, glitter nail polish collection. Um, I'm trying not to buy any more glitter nail polishes, but, um, and, oh, I forgot to mention that I did pick up this one from Simple Colors. It's called Pinky Glitter. I'm actually going to take this one back because, as I mentioned in my video last night, it's the exact dupe for this one that I already have, and I love this one. It's spoiled, so anyway, that's pretty much it. Um, like I said, um, I'll show you the new nail polish rack if you guys want to see it. Um, I'm going to take my husband to Home Depot here shortly, and basically where this thing is sitting at, we're going to set that down lower and he's going to, it's not going to be, like I said, built uh, as wide. It's probably going to be built from here. Probably about the same width of this cabinet here. And um, he's going to, you know, take some of my nail flashes and measure out, you know, some of these. Because what I'm, and he even noticed that there's some brands like China Lace is expanding the LA Colors uh, nail polish is expanding, even though I put myself on a no nail polish band, you know, I cheated yesterday, but could not help that. 
Um, and these BD Concepts ones, I bought at Dollar Tree. I really want to get those um, if I can find any different colors. Uh, I've got my favorite, you know, you know, favorite other ones right there. But anyway, I'm getting off the subject. If you want to see what the nail polish rack looks like, let me know, and I will be happy to do that for you guys. It'll probably be within the week. Um, he said he's going to go ahead and build it today since he's got some time on his hands. So anyway, have a great day, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.